right, hello wine drinking people. Time for more of what I've had to drink yesterday and our friend from Angel Share was in to see us with these wines. And hey man, one of the things you don't want to do with the wine watch is come in and start making up scores because man, I have a connection to the internet right there where I'm taking notes and I will double check you. So when you say a wine got 98 points, not that I care, you can't drink points, but you are going to pay for them. But uh, don't come in this store telling me points are getting 98 points on the score 93 points but anyway some great stuff on the table the Loire Bourgogne's I mean and the Pernon Vergeles worth tasting uh, on this occasion just by themselves I love the Bourgogne from Loire this is to me one of the greatest expressions of diversity of terroir in Burgundy as this is a mix of different could be Premier Crew Vineyards, Village Wines, and uh, always over delivers for the money. $63, maybe a little expensive, but uh, uh, it's 09 Vintage Bourgogne Rouge, man. The Bourgogne Blanc, also the best example of Bourgogne you will find in all of Burgundy. This wine, really ripe, seductive vintage, 2009. A good amount of rich black cherry fruit, fresh earth, truffle, but that smoky, meaty nuance coming out as this wine opens. A big and rustic style of Bourgogne. That's what we expect from Fala Loire. A nice amount of berry fruit, though, that touch of animal and earth. Very complex Bourgogne at uh, $63. Pernon Vergeles. It's got a little bit more of that animal character here on the nose. Dark spices, pretty floral notes, a big bouquet, lots of dark berry fruit here. This 2009 vintage, very rich and structured on the palate. Even though these wines are drinkable, this wine will last 20 years. I've had village wines from the WAP that are 45, 47 years old. My birth year. I've been drinking Savini Le Bon for the last couple years and uh, just outstanding. The greatest expression of village wines you will find in Burgundy from Loire. All right, the more like Pinot Noir, definitely a change in direction here, man. This is a uh, Sonoma Coast and a lot of really sweet fruit. You really notice it after having these Bourgogne's light red berry fruit, strawberry, candied raspberry, brown spices, pretty floral notes, sweet and rich on the tongue, a lovely uh, velvety smooth texture and uh, that brown spice and floral notes coming through on the finish. Excellent juice at 112 bucks even if we got 98 points i mean i don't know if we were worth 112 dollars but the Caron saint gem wow now you have my attention here's a winery i know very well and i love this 2010 vintage let me tell you this cabernet sauvignon dominated wine from just outside the saint julian appellation it's labeled omadoc but man what a classic left bank bordeaux nose uh dark plum dark currant fruit tobacco spice coffee like notes really rich on the palate this wine's got i mean a tremendous build for 2010 you could keep this wine another 10 15 20 years one of the things we love about bordeaux just an excellent value uh at 30 dollars a bottle i've always said the omadoc one of the greatest value areas in burgundy all right the lando the second wine i don't understand why the second one is more expensive than the first one i mean oh four it's a little older but this is the second wine of Coron saint gem for 37.50 i love the oh four vintage right now i think it's drinking at its peak but um, I just don't get the price of that. Robert Foley Cabernet, this is the first time I've had this label from him. It's only the second vintage he's been making this wine. And uh, he's worked at, I mean, you know, Pride. He's consulted for a lot of top-level people. But his own label, I mean, just outstanding as well. This wine's got a good amount of dark currant, dark plum fruit, like sweet tobacco spice, bitter chocolate notes, excellent structure on the tongue, and a long finish. This 2010's just starting to open up a little bit, a vintage that's very classic from Bordeaux that's going to last a while, I think, especially the better wines uh, like this one. Excellent. The Reynolds family up next, 2010. This wine's showing a little bit of funk on the nose here, which a little bit of cedar, cigar box spice, some dark currant, a dark cherry fruit. And when I say funk, I mean like a hamster cage. You know I mean? Uh, it's that cedar, that ground up stuff. Not after the hamster's gone in it, but you know, right when it's fresh. Anyways, a uh, nice amount of bread berry fruit. Really good balance in this wine. Milk chocolate and loamy earthy notes and a little saddle leather at the end. Excellent juice at $54. This Samsara, wow. Wow, what a unique expression of Syrah from the Santa Rita Hills. This has got a really aromatic bouquet of minty herbal notes to the blackberry, black uh, plum fruit, black pepper spice. Really distinctly peppery minty note to this bouquet. And it's just exponential on the second day. Big Syrah. A lot of that herbal minty character coming through on the finish. But it's got a lot of fruit here as well. Really lovely balance. Nice structure. Excellent juice. If you like this style, man, $51, a really great example of Syrah from Santa Rita. Sam Sara. All right, and then up next, the Gerver Schlossloo, um, the Greek wine. That's right, folks. Um, 
Eh, what can I tell you, man? I mean, the grape varietal is hard to pronounce. Assertico, I got that one. Uh, that's one of them in here. Malabusia is the other one, and uh, really fresh and distinct, man. These Greek wines have got just wonderful minerality to them. This green melon rind, lemon lime, citrus fruit, and herbal nuance. And like I said, that briny minerally character, just very distinct. Bright and fresh on the tongue with great uh, a concentration and a long finish, leaving the tongue salivating for food. Excellent juice. If you like acid and mineral, man, 2825, a uh, really great a little Greek wine there. That's what we had to drink with our friends from Angel Share. I'm your host, Andrew Lampasoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying, remember, always drink the good stuff first.